guys, it's Mrs. Rossi. Welcome back to my outdoor classroom. It is great to see you today. If there is one season that is my favorite, it is the season of spring. I love to watch the plants growing, especially those blue bonnets here in the hill country. I love to hear the birds chirping. I love to watch the butterflies flutter by. Living things are growing and changing all around us. I just love it. We're going to take a look at plants today. Plant structure and functions. So the structure of a plant is the part and the function is the role that that part plays in allowing the plant to live, grow, and reproduce. So let's start at our roots. So when we look at our roots, I want you to think about how the roots are going to find and take in water and minerals from the soil that will help a plant to live and grow. The roots are also important because they will hold the plant into the ground. The next structure we're going to talk about is the stem. I want you to think of the stem as like a straw because the stem's role is to take the water and the minerals from the roots up to the rest of the plant. The stem is also going to hold that plant upright. It's going to hold those leaves. It's going to hold that flower up. Next, we move on to the leaves. And the leaves have a really important function or role. The leaves, we would say, is like the food making factory of the plant. The leaves are going to take in water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. And it's going to use those ingredients to create sugar, otherwise known as glucose. And it's going to release oxygen into the air. And that whole process is called photosynthesis. That's a really big, important word, photosynthesis. And that's the food-making process of a plant. Now, because plants can make their own food, they are called producers. So think about the word produce means to make. Plants are called producers because they can make their own food. And I think that's pretty cool. Okay, that finally takes us up to the flower. And this is a beautiful bloom on this marigold flower that I have today to show you. And it's beautifully colored. It smells really good. And one of its big roles is to attract pollinators. This flower is going to attract bees and moths and butterflies. And those insects or even other organisms are going to help pollinate the flowers, taking pollen from one flower to another of the same kind. And again, that's going to be called pollination. When that happens, the plant can produce seeds. And then we all know what seeds do. The seeds are going to be used to reproduce more plants. Next job is to watch the links that are added into your directions today. Um, those little video clips and those songs and another explanation by me are all really important for you to grasp the entire concept of structure and function of plant parts. From that, you have a wide variety of options in responding to me. You can make a video, you can use audio, you can draw a picture, you can find clip art. The most important things are, though, is that you explain to me the parts of a plant and the functions, which means what do those parts do for the plant. One example could be drawing a picture, you can label, but I also need to know why those parts are important. You could even take a video with a real plant and you can just out loud tell me the parts and you can explain to me in your own words how those parts help that plant. So you have lots of ideas. Be creative. Have fun. I can't wait to check out your work.